it's Dr. Selena Soufraz here. Um, this short vlog is to let you know how to use your tooth whitening gel or your tooth bleaching gel that your dentist has given you um, inside your customised trays that your dentist will have made for you. So this is really as a backup for a lot of my patients who do tooth whitening. I show them how to use the gels in the surgery in their trays but um, if you've forgotten or it's been a few months since I've showed you and you'd quite like to refresh your memory, this video is for you. Okay, take care, bye. Tooth whitening facts. It is safe. It will not damage or change the shape or surface of the teeth. It can only be carried out by trained dental professionals. It is illegal for anyone other than a dentist to carry this out. There are different options, hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide daytime or nighttime, your dentist will advise what is best for you. Over-the-counter products or online may not be safe. It can last up to three years. Any white fillings or crowns will not whiten. You should not whiten your teeth if you have tooth decay or gum disease. Whitening trays can distort and leak. Get old ones checked by your dentist. These are teeth that have been whitened with home whitening, 16% carbamide peroxide for 14 days overnight every night. Lovely result. These are also 16% carbamide peroxide for two weeks at home, but note the little white spots that have become more apparent on this whitening. This next person whitened for 12 weeks, that's three months. He had very severe staining and tobacco staining and after 12 weeks of whitening, he used the Enlighten product. Um, his teeth are looking much better. He was very happy. When you get your custom-made trays from your dentist, first of all, dry the trays before you use them. Now, there are two types of trays. You might get one which is like this, where you have scalloped uh, curved edges that follow the gum line with reservoirs within which you can't actually see or you might get these which are straight across with small little indentations um, along the teeth where you can see where to put your gels. These are close fitting trays both of them so you don't really need much gel. When you get your gels from your dentist it Depending on what product you get, this one here is Zoom Night White, you would remove the protective cap. This one's quite difficult. It's a locking cap, as you can see, I struggle here. And then place a dispensing tip on the end. Um, this has two barrels, so as you squeeze down, it mixes in the little tip. Remove the final cap and taking care not to put too much pressure you, would, you must dispense a very small amount into the round indents, small like a grain of rice. Now you'll see here it's quite difficult to press very slowly and gently and I actually dispense far too much into this first one, so not as much as that. We would like to have the size of the head of a match stick or pin or the size of a grain of rice go along into each individual indentation and put a little blob. Do not run it like a ribbon across the whole way in the line because that will irritate the gums. If you have one of the other trays, it's exactly the same, small as a grain of rice, onto each individual reservoir and when you hold the trays against your teeth, you'll see that this is the smiling surface. This is the area that you want to put the gel on. It's no good on the surfaces that people can't see. So when this goes into your mouth, it will um, match up with the enamel that is actually facing the outside world when you give a nice big smile. So there are the trays correctly loaded. This is another type of gel in a different syringe, 16% carbamide peroxide used at night. Align the loaded tray over the teeth in the correct manner. Press down with your fingers and then press along the smiling surfaces so the gel can spread across the teeth. Take the following, the next tray for the opposite jaw, press with your thumbs and your fingers taking care not to bite in and then rub along the sides so the gel spreads all the way along the tooth surface. Make sure trays fit well and are dry. 
Try and dry your teeth with a face cloth. Clean and floss your teeth. Wait one hour before placing the gel on your teeth. This will reduce the chance of sensitivity. Dispense the gel into the trays. Wear overnight or daytime as recommended by your dentist. After the wearing time has finished, remove the trays and rinse or wipe your teeth in lukewarm water. Wash the trays. A cotton bud is useful in removing excess gel and leave the trays to dry, ready for the next time. Whilst whitening, avoid foods and drinks that will stain a white shirt. If sensitivity occurs, stop and replace gel with a desensitising toothpaste for one to two sessions until the sensitivity disappears. This is usually temporary. Any problems, contact your dentist or dental team.